Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first in person's look at Sword of the Stars The Pit. Now I don't know too much about the Sword of the Stars series, other than that it's a series of Space 4X games similar to something like Galactic Civilizations 2. The Pit, however, is a sort of spin-off game, and it's a retro 2D sort of top-down roguelike with permadeath and all of the other fun things that you would expect from a roguelike. So let's just kind of jump right in here. I did do the tutorial, so I'd at least have some idea what we're doing. Yes, normal. Alright, so we have three classes to pick from. The Scout, the Marine, and the Engineer. And you can see they all have a whole bunch of skills and a whole bunch of stuff they start with. Because uh, this game, being a roguelike RPG, is kind of complicated. It actually kind of reminds me of something like Dungeons of Dreadmore in the way it plays and in the way it sort of handles all this stuff. A bit less silly though. We're just gonna go with the marine because the marine is good at killing things. Alright, and here we are. So this is one of those, you know, turn-based, one square of movement affects everything, similar to Dungeons of Dreadmore. And we're in this alien underground cavern base laboratory to find out the uh, source of the zombie plague that seems to be uh, spreading across this planet, similar to something like Day by Day Armageddon. Oh, something hostile. Good thing we have our auto pistol, which I'm apparently not very good with. <laughs> Doing good so far, murdering alien space bats. And of course you can see that this game has a line of sight system. So things can sneak up behind us quite easily. It'd be nice if this pistol didn't waste two shots. What do we have anyway? Do we have anything better? We've got an assault rifle, we've got a couple different kinds of grenade, and we've got a machete. Just switch between them with tab. Oh, can we pick up the rot pile? Yes we can. What do we get out of that? Food pellet. Are we just going to eat that disgusting rat pile? Come back here, you bat. Alright, we already searched that. I guess we can't loot these rats. Maybe that one looks dangerous. Let's give him a good two shots. And then reload our pistol. You never know what sort of horrible death is waiting around the next corner. Switch back to our blade. It's weird that everything seems to be based on two movements instead of one to trigger, but maybe these rats just have like low initiative or something. Also worth pointing out that we have two meters down here, and the second one is not mana. We have our health meter, and then we have our hunger meter. Because we do actually have to worry about starving to death in this. Alright, nothing in this room. Search these rot piles. Oh man, not again! Alright, we can actually attack diagonally. I didn't know if we could or not. I'm not sure I'd want to eat a food pellet that was buried in a pile of rot. Oh, our blade's taking some damage. We're going to have to repair that at some point. Jeez, there are a lot of bats around here. And rats. And other sorts of space creatures. Alright, we leveled up. What do we want to bump up here? Oddly, the tutorial doesn't actually tell you what all the skills do. You just have to sort of guess. So we have stats, and then we have skills, so let's bump up our finesse a bit. Since I'm guessing that affects things like accuracy. And then our skills. We have a whole lot of skills. Now we're already kind of good at shooting and stabbing and all sorts of fighting, but we're not very good with things like lockpick or mechanical, which will come in handy later on. So let's bump up our mechanical. Oh, I guess we can't bump it up again. And then computer. Because uh, we have a lot of things we have to interact with in the course of this game, it seems. It 
Seems like one of the other benefits too, starting with the marine, is we get some decent armor. Judging by how little damage we're taking from these rats and bats. Yeah, some raw meat. Even better to pull out of a rot pile. Isn't there another rot pile around here? Alright, so we're not even really in the facility proper yet. We're still in just the caves above it. I guess we can't search ruined crates. Okay, there's the floor exit. I think we've killed everything up here now. Pretty sure we don't have to kill everything to progress to the next level, but you'd want to for the experience and potential loot. And some ew, moldy bread. Eat at your own risk. Sure, let's eat it. See if we get food poisoning. Alright, down we go. Okay, now we're actually in a base of some sort. Cancel, cancel, cancel! There's no way to cancel. Alright, so you want to make sure that there's no enemies around before you start interacting with something. Since it seems like the only way to get out of doing something is to get hit. Light weapons locker. That sounds like it's worth opening. What do we get? A vibro knife and a weapon biomod. So biomods are basically just, you know, boosts for weapons. There's also biomods that increase armor and biomods that increase our person. However, the effects are random, so it doesn't actually tell us what they do until we use them. So, uh, let's slap this on our pistol. Weapon durability by 20%. Alright, so that's a good one. But there is, as it mentions, but malfunctioning biomods with, you know, no way to tell the difference. So they might have negative effects instead of positive ones. Alright, so another blood bat. Oh, that one actually survived. What do you got for us? Antibodies. Because apparently not only do we have to worry about death and starvation, we also have to worry about disease and sickness and poison and all the other horrible things that could potentially kill you in an alien laboratory. These bats are getting tougher. Sure, let's use a med patch. Hmm, a robot. So things are going not too poorly yet. We haven't gotten murdered by anything horribly stronger than us. Yeah. So it seems like you can upgrade your skills not only by leveling up, but also just by using them. Hoping we find some pistol ammo soon, that's why I wasn't really using it earlier. One percent chance of success. I think we'll just leave that one alone. And a ruined locker, which means it's unusable. The rats are certainly getting bigger. Alright, the locker exploded in our face. That's unfortunate. Do a lot of damage, though. No problem. Man, we're gonna get so good at lock picking just by opening these unnecessary doors. I guess the vibro knife has a battery or something, and that's why we can only use it 40 times. Yeah, take that pile of razor worms. Damage locker. 
Oh, I was kind of expecting that to blow up in our face, too. Mutation serum. Okay, so these are the ones that are supposed to affect your character. Could be bad, could be good. We'll never know until we just drink it down. Oh, we got smarter. Digital interpreter. What does this do? Alright, so it'll make us better at reading alien text. Oh, yeah. And we already leveled up again. Wow, things are going pretty swell so far on our quest to cure the zombie plague. Bump up our lock picking skill. And bump up our pistol skill. And that leaves us with two points, which we should use on. Hmm. Let's go with mechanical, I guess. Now, I wonder if the costs there are different because of the character we're using or because of the skills that we were using as we, you know. We're activating stuff. Alright, where have we not been? Looks like we've been everywhere. Did I miss the door? That was the door there. Or the exit. Let's take some scent glands. Rub them all over ourselves to get rid of other rats. Alright, something is following us. That's why we're going slow like this. Probably shouldn't be using our fancy fibro blade against rats. What tasty morsel will we find now? Rotten cheese to go with our rotten bread. Maybe if we find a cooking station, we can combine them together into a rotten sandwich. And some rations. Well, that's probably worth holding on to. Okay, so we can't eat these scent glands, which is probably for the best. Let's use one of these. Oh, that only bumped us up a little bit. Hmm. So I wonder if we can craft some weapons out of these parts, because apparently you can craft weapons, you can craft mods, you can craft food, as long as you have the right station to do it. Oh, we already ate our rotten bread, didn't we? Oh, that door was trapped, because it has this diamond here, but luckily it was a healing trap for some reason. Maybe it's supposed to lull you into a false sense of security before you walk through another trap. Looks like we caused a bleed effect or something there. Nothing. Alright, robot inbound somewhere. Ew, what is that? Alright, we don't want to uh, touch that because it's basically a gelatinous cube. Melting our shit. It says acid is eating our inventory. Can we get rid of that somehow? Alright, let's just not touch that. What's this? Storage pod. X-ray transducer and casing fragments. I have no idea what either of these things are, but I bet we use them for crafting. Is that oh, pistol rounds? I thought we had shotgun ammo for some reason. Oh, my God. 
Oh shit, we triggered security robots. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I was kind of expecting it to just straight out murder us. We're gonna trigger an alarm, aren't we? Yep. We're really bad at locking, uh, unlocking some doors, even with a 50% chance of success. Alright, what does the map say? map says we haven't been up here. So let's go that way. Ah, poison gas trap that we didn't step in. Let's not set it off, let's just go past it. Ah, cooker. We know how to make a sot switch, which is just some Tark of War bread and some cooked meat. But that is the only thing we know how to cook. So let's just throw some random shit together and see what we get. Eh, it's some rotten cheese, why not? Maybe some meat and some scent glands. I bet those will be tasty. Oh, there goes our food. I mean, I guess we can't just cook random computer parts to make food. Who's a smart monkey? Hmm. There's a food thing on here, but there's nothing actually in here. Is there? A ruined freezer, broken table, and a ruined locker. Okay, we are out of pistol bullets now, so we only have those eight shots, and then we're back to stabbing fools, which we should have been doing anyway, considering that it doesn't take a turn to switch to your weapon. You spot a nearby poison gas trap. Yeah, we almost stepped on that before. Did I go in here? Yeah, that's where we came in. Ah, oh, trap broke our grenade. Oh man, some more mutant goo. I'll just chug that back. Yeah, we have more finesse. Now with the assault rifle we can do something fancy, since it fires three shots, we can do this, hold down control, use the arrow keys to target these guys, and I'm gonna guess the bat's tougher, so let's put the third shot there. So that's why you don't want to use up the assault rifle too quickly, because it's actually pretty useful. Some bone slivers, an ammo crate. We got more rifle rounds. I guess we'll have to use our rifle instead of our pistol. So it seems like even individual enemies are getting stronger as we go down. Oh, that was a trap we just walked through, but I guess nothing happened? Oh. I guess the green ones always heal you. Though I'm guessing that probably changes with each playthrough what the different colors do, but they're consistent within a single playthrough. Oh, I didn't even see this guy behind me. Alright, this is kind of a situation where we want to just shoot some friggin' enemies. So, target that guy, target that guy, target that guy. And then back to the- no, not the grenade. Not that grenade.
Aliens. Oh, great. There goes more of our stuff. Thought we were in trouble there for a second. All right, bump up finesse. Some of that. Some lock picking. Mechanical. Pistol and rifle. What other skills do we have down here? Decipher, knife, blade, triumph. Or not. Probably should have bumped up our blade a little bit. Seems to have been coming in handy so far. Shit. All right. Let's whip out our fancy knife and stab this bat. So by activating it, we set off the alarm. All right, good to know. From hell's heart I stab at thee, stupid bat. So far this floor is proving to be pretty inhospitable. And there hasn't been anything really potentially beneficial here. That's a trap, let's not walk through it. I want to be going this way. Also, we're running out of food, I'm going to have to start eating stuff. Ah, oh, we can set off traps multiple times. Well, at least our guy seems to be enjoying himself, even though he's going to die. Probably sooner than later. Wait, which one is... Okay, this is the next floor. Let's try fixing this. The irony of trying to repair a repair station. A whole lot of rifle rounds and some grenades. Sounds like we're pretty uh, set to just blast everything we see. Which is good because I think we're just going to start charging into battle since this quick look's running a bit long. I think we've basically seen the essentials of what makes up this game, though of course it's got a lot more possibility to vary things up. That's that ticket. Blade ants. Now, if we fire five bullets, why can we only aim three of them? Alright, we got some more pistol ammo, so we can actually switch to that. Should be good enough to take care of these murder rats.
Reinforcement bots? What do these do? Oh, okay, so this is one we've already used, and so now we know what it does. And we'll always know what it does afterwards. Got a jumpsuit. I have a feeling that's not better than what we have. Durability... Armor 60, armor 60, wait. No. Oh, armor 40, yeah. So that's worse than what we have, but might as well keep it for now. Might be able to use it later. Or maybe craft better armor out of it. Energy cells. But we don't have any plasma weapons, so those are no good to us yet. Okay, that trap fucked us up pretty bad, so let's use a healing patch. Let's use a couple healing patches. Let's use all our healing patches. And let's use some rations. I'm here to kill everything I see. Ah, oh, lasers. Take that, laser robot. Logic circuits. Can we build our own robots? That'd be pretty sweet. Having our own little robot buddy following us around. Finesse, might, finesse. Pump up some blade. Pistol. Lockpick and forging. Which makes us better at stealing stuff, I'm guessing. Medkit. Alright, let's just go straight to the next floor without even looking around. Apparently we just murdered the repair ant. Ooh, more moldy bread. And Zycot Funga Bars. Where did that fungi bar go? There it is. I scrolled right past it. Very fortifying but not for the weak of stomach. Nope, acid slime. Get out of here, you. I'm not gonna lie, folks, I was kind of expecting us to have died by now. I think we might just have to call it here. I don't know how long I can go on with this without dying, and don't want this video to run out too long. I mean, you guys really get the idea of what's going on here. It's a it's a fun little rogue roguelike with all the loot collection and leveling up skills and weird random effects that you kind of expect. And I believe this is only like ten dollars less than that, maybe on Steam. So uh, if you're interested, this is Sword of the Stars, The Pit. Check it out. And I've been Shadefire, your guide through these dark tunnels. And I'll see you all next time.